New gear box of Project Redline. <laughs> Could be, but um, yeah, if we uh, if we weren't rocking the auto, we'd definitely be rocking something like this. So this is a, a specific racing transmission um, made by GeForce. Uh, model number is uh, GF5R. Straight cut gears, dog engagement, and um, and a vertical gate shifter. Well, com the side commonly side. referred to as a clutchless transmission. That's right. Yeah. So clutchless transmission. So the clutch on this transmission is only this tall transmission is only used essentially to. Um, in the burnout when, when you drop the clutch essentially then and also on launch so um you see on launch the clutch will be in you select up here you select the first gear and then after that you let the clutch out and then from then on you don't use the clutch again so then you'll pull um it's just a case of like a sequential shifter where sequential shift shifter you're normally pulling in the one direction this one moves down a gate so you'll go first gear you're in there you pull here you're in second gear here you're in third you see it's moved down the gate and then back again you're in fourth and then down again you're in fifth so as you can see it's moved it's sort of almost like um a zigzagging pattern back yeah. and forth so it was first second third fourth fifth all the way down so unlike a sequential shifter where you might have gone first second third fourth just consistently back in one direction this one you're going forward back forward back You can't then go back down the gears like a sequential transmission. Uh, not really, yeah, no, because once you pull it out, it neutralizes the box. Um, so in this, in this, so now, it's really, it's really designed for a it's, drag racing application. It's purposely only. designed for drag racing, yeah. yeah. So I mean, if if you were in, so now it's neutralized the box. Um, you can pull back, and that will actually be reverse. So right back from fifth is reverse, um, and reverse is um, engages this gear here, and the secondary part of that. Um, gear to reverse the rotation is is there so that just that, that means in the boxes and and reverse again i mean and that, and that shows you how much of a drag racing transmission is because i mean normally you do your burnout in um you might start on third and then quickly go fourth fifth and then once you're back out of fifth you want to click the car in reverse so it's an easy pull back to go to reverse um some other transmissions might have a separate lever for reverse this one just has it at the back of the gate for fifth and then it's just a case of Popping out to neutral, popping back through the gate. Let's have a look on at the gear side. That's your gear. So it's you know it's it's probably um, you can see the gears here how they mesh. Uh, this is a another size one, the size one I think from from back here. But that's, that's how you get your different ratios between the ratio of these these gears. So you've got a gear. Uh, you've then got a face plate that meshes onto the inside gear that then has these teeth. You can see there, this one's had a pretty hard life, it's and it's one of on that one. It's definitely one of the spares where it's knocked teeth off and it's random. And what happens is, you can see the slider part here. So here you've got the gear, you've got the face plate, and you've got what's called a slider. And it's called a slider because you can see here, um, it slides back and forward on, an, on another internal gear to engage. So it's engaging, you know, your first gear, or it's engaging your second gear, and that and that. So that slider, so that's two sliders there together. What that slider is doing is basically this gear was just, I mean, it's it's constant speed, so all these gears will always be turning. And what it does is the slider drops in and engages that gear, so it directs the drive at that ratio through the box and then out the input shaft. So you can see when the box is, um, so the box is neutralized now. You can see how it's just sitting in the middle there. So the box is in, in neutral. And then if I grab the input shaft and turn it, you can see the output shaft doesn't move at all down here. Whereas then if I was to grab, say, first gear, and you can see the dog's engaged here. So right here, the two teeth are engaged. If I was then to move the input shaft, you'll see the output shaft starts moving. And that's essentially how the transmission works. And the, and the reason why these transmissions are so are so much more heavy duty and faster in their application is that there's no um, synchro mesh gears or cones to wear to have to decelerate the gears to properly mesh like in a normal sort of so to speak a H pattern box or a normal a normal transmission you'd find in a normal car. Uh, these these sliders and, and the way the the gears work is that they they direct um they direct mesh and they they're, just um, in, instantly engage once when, you pull the gear so 
You know, when a car's on song with one of these style transmissions, there's really nothing better to watch, I reckon, at the drags. Yeah, it's it's one of the um, it's one of the best part about the small tire racing. So it's one of the uh, it's one of my favourite parts always uh, that I've loved about sport compact drag racing and small tire drag racing is um, watching these the guys go through the gears and these things versus you know most of the, and it's I know Project Redline's got an auto, but one of the sort of things I've always I, I disliked about sort of um, some of the sportsman series V8 race cars is they've just autos and they might have a power glide and they literally take off and click one gear and there was no you know no fanfare and no noise whereas these things go through you know all five gears and you know they make different noises and things like that and, they, and they you just, really have to drive cool. with with one hand on the shifter don't you yeah yeah you, you'll have to you have to drive with one hand and shifter otherwise you know like here if i if i pull third gear and you can see third gears um mesh there if i if i actually start pulling the input shaft and start loading up the the, yeah. the output shaft so you can see it popped out of gear so it neutralizes gear. itself so basically which, if you if you pedal a car with this transmission it runs over yeah yeah that, that's right part. yeah i mean the runs over through that but i mean as well as i mean this is how this type of stuff happens if you if you pedal these gearboxes they're not really designed to you know they're really designed to um give you the best performance with it, when the track is there at the when everything's on song but if if the track isn't there and you try and pedal these small tire cars which often happens with the small car small tire cars these gearboxes really don't like it that much so um that's that's traditionally when you end up with a box full of um spare parts like this so uh great great gearbox but love love the way um they operate and and the sounds they make and, and just the way that i mean there's nothing cooler than than being able to, you know, go through these type of gears and, and smashing through that gate like that. That's a, I mean, it's a really cool action. You can see some of the guys with automatic transmissions trying to replicate this kind of um, action, but you know, when you got a power glide and you're clicking the stick once, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a, bit, a bit, bit boring, a bit overkill yeah. sort of thing. The difference between this transmission. And the downside to this is you, you, you can't use it on the road. No, no, I mean, it, it, they're just too difficult to manualize in that, um, so. Let's get, take a look at the other side, Brumi. The linkage side. So the linkage side, um, just there, and you can see that the linkages just go through for first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse here, um, and then you've got the vertical gate. So it is a pretty complex transmission to set up because you can see there's different rod lengths for for the shifter linkages. You got rod ends, you got bars, and then you got springs and all that kind of stuff. So you know they, they're not they're not the easiest thing to to get operating correctly always so they, they do take a little bit of work so if that's in first uh, you can see that the linkage is has been pulled back so then it's just a case of pulling it down and then we've got second third fourth and then fifth and then you can pull out and also reverse and then pull it forward and then that's neutralized one of the key benefits to these gearboxes in a racing situation as you can see exactly what i've done here is you can just take one half of the gearbox off and you can instantly see if something's wrong with it so um, here I can see that slider's got a bit of um, wear on it um, you know so you can you can really quickly identify if something's not right what's wrong with it and what you need to repair it so that's why they're they're so sought after in top level motorsport and um, there's a lot less drag and, and loss on this.